Welcome to Viva's Lifestyle. Today we are going to learn about telling the time workbook. Yay! So kids, let's understand first about parts of the clock. A smaller dial is known as an hour hand. A longer dial is known as a minute hand. Numbers 1 to 12 are known as hour numbers. Small indicators between hour numbers are known as minutes. A thin dial is known as a second hand. So kids, you must be wondering why the minute's hand rotates faster than the hour hand. Any guess? Woo! So let's understand why the minute hand rotates faster than the hour hand. Well, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. To complete one hour, the minute hand must rotate for one full circle, which is 60 minutes. Interesting, isn't it, kids? <laughs> what about second hand? Second handle needle is faster than the minute handle? That's true. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. One full rotation of the second handle completes one minute. <laughs> What's the time now, kids? Any guess? The hour hand is at 10, and the minute hand is at 12. Any guess? It's 10 o'clock. Interesting, isn't it? <coughs> now, both the hour hand and minute hand indicate 12. What does that mean? Any guess? It's 12 o'clock. It can be a.m. or p.m. Interesting, isn't it? What's the time now? Any guess? The hour hand is at 11, and the minute hand is at 12. Any guesses, kids? Please think and answer. It's 11 o'clock. Let's try one more example. The hour hand is at 4, and the minute hand is at 3. What does that mean, kids? Well, it's 4.15, that is 4 hours and 15 minutes. Interesting, isn't it, kids? But ma'am, what's this 15 minutes? I don't know how to identify minutes on the clock. Hmm. Good question, Vivanta. Do not worry, I will help you out. Woo! So, one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Now, let's learn how to tell the time. As the hour hand is at 5, Hence, it's five o'clock. Five minutes indicates it's five past five. It's 10 past five. It's quarter past five. It's 20 past five. It's 25 past five. It's half past five. It's 25 to six. It's 20 to six. It's quarter to six. It's 10 to 6. It's 5 to 6. See, it's so easy to learn. Interesting, isn't it, kids? I hope, Vivanta, you understood about minutes. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. So, let's start the next exercise, Vivanta. Wow. Tell me, Vivanta, how many minutes now? Hmm. Teacher, it's five minutes. And what about this? Ten minutes 
It's ten past. Fifteen minutes. It's quarter past. Twenty minutes. It's twenty past. Twenty-five minutes. It's twenty-five past. Thirty minutes. It's half past. Thirty-five minutes. It's twenty-five two. Forty minutes. It's twenty-two. Forty-five minutes. It's quarter to. Fifty minutes. It's ten two. Fifty-five minutes. It's five two. And sixty minutes. When the minute handle reaches sixty minutes, it completes the hour, and a new hour starts. Now let's learn about how many hours, minutes, and seconds in a day. One hour is equal to sixty minutes, and one minute is equal to sixty seconds. One day equal to twenty-four hours. Wow. Interesting to learn, right? Similarly, one day is equal to one thousand four hundred and forty minutes, and one day is equal to eighty-six thousand four hundred seconds. Wow! It's interesting facts about time, isn't it, kids? Now you have learned. How to tell the time? So, kids, when you go home, please do try to tell the time to your parents. One more thing: time is money. Never waste it. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe.